You guys are going to be absolutely blown away once you see the incredible Funko Pop store that we found. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's time for our weekly Funko Pop hunt and today is a big one guys. Possibly the most surprising Funko Pop hunt here in 2022 and that is saying something because if you guys have been following the channel for at least the last few months, you've seen that we've found some truly incredible places. But to, to get to today's video, guys, we were invited personally by the owner of Zombie Hideout over in Springfield, Massachusetts, was about an hour and a half away from us, and he invited us out to his store actually a few months ago, so our schedule has just been crazy busy, but we finally found some time to go out and check out his store, and man, Man, it was absolutely insane, but don't listen to me blabber away. Check it out, guys, and we'll catch up with you guys right after the clips. All right, guys, so today we are at Zombie Hideout Comics, Collectibles, and more. Now, this store looks small from the front, but you guys will not believe how big it is inside. So we're going to go check it out. Come with us, and uh, you're in for a very special treat. So here we go. All right, so coming on into the store, like I said, when you first walk in, it doesn't look very big, but just wait till we get to the back and you guys will see it just explodes with room. So we're gonna start off with the front here. We have a lot of big stuff right off the bat. We have the Disney Parks Indies Ride, a 3000 piece Fooey Mobile. We have Skeletor on his throne. Skeletor on the Panther. We have the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror two pack that glows in the dark. And there's actually two of those. Um, we have Dumbo with Timothy. We have the newer Carl and Ellie two pack with the mailbox. Let's see, we got Scar with Flames. And moving on over to the next one here, we actually have the 2000 piece Rosie the Robot three pack. Haven't seen that one in a while. And then um, coming to the back wall here, right behind the counter, he's got a lot of great stuff. So we'll start from the top row. We'll do our best to show off everything. We have Kevin with the Up House. We have some Care Bears. We have the OG Scar from the Disney line right there. We have some of the Remix G.I. Joe and Transformers. I see we have some South Park. We actually have the Flocked cat dog which is on our list to grab at some point we have space ghost we have some wwe pops a couple chases some sports pops down there moving into the next section we have some more tv some more simpsons werewolf bart with the con sticker right there peppy Le Pew from 2018 san diego comic-con some looney tunes let's see oh we have a chase hades from hot topic a lot of people were looking for that one. We have some more pretty rare Disney stuff. We have Doug as well as the Flock Doug and the original Baloo as well as Sir Hiss and Sheree Khan from the Disney line. Now taking a break from the top there, we're gonna come back and catch everything that I missed underneath the counter here. So we have some WWE pops. I am not familiar with a lot of the characters, but I know there is a lot of WWE fans that collect Funko Pops. So a lot of cool stuff. We have some Hulk Hogan here. What else do we have? I see The Rock. I have a Chase Iron Sheik, if that's what I'm saying. Oh, we have a LeBron James and Dwight Howard two pack, which is pretty cool. And guys, for all you WWE fans, we actually are teaming up with Zombie Hideout for a very special giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you could possibly win. We have a bunch of hockey pops. This is definitely right up my alley. We have Patrick Kane, Connor McDavid, Jonathan Drew, and Corey Crawford, Sidney Crosby, Bo Horvath, all awesome players. Let's see, we have a couple of basketball and football. I see Eli Manning, Mike Trout, Michael Jordan, Eric Carlson from the Ottawa Senators. A lot of great stuff. We have LeBron James over here. And then getting back to the section on the wall here, we have some more Disney Pops, another Chase Hades, Ariel with the glasses. 
We have Sadness from San Diego Comic-Con 2015. I actually have not seen that one in a while. And coming on over, oh, look at that Boba Fett poster. I didn't even see that. That's pretty cool. Like a popped custom Boba Fett poster. That's awesome. Wonder if that one's for sale. Uh, let's see. We have some gaming pops. I see Destiny, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Monopoly, some Disney stuff. I see a Spider-Man up there. One of the Halo pops where he's in the full camouflage, which is pretty cool. And then moving into the next section, we have some Futurama pops, Yogi the Bear. We have some of the Flintstones pops as well as a Chase Top Cat. And then for all you Scooby-Doo fans, we have the original Daphne, Fred, scooby Dumb, Captain Cutler, and the original Scooby-Doo. So some pretty cool stuff there. Moving into the next section, we have the Strawberry Shortcake three-pack, or four-pack it looks like. We have the Flocked Clifford the Big Red Dog, which he's gotta be flocked. And then we have some of the Big Mouth Pops, as well as some of the Teletubbies. All right, guys, so now we're gonna transition to the other section of the store and just look how big it is. Look at all the amazing stuff that we have to go break down and hunt for you. So we're gonna do our best to capture as much as we can. So over here, we actually have some Pocket Pops. We even have some of these plushies is pretty cool we got batman captain america we have a rock candy here 2000 piece from the jetsons this is pretty cool we also have starfire i don't think i've ever seen that one and then coming over here they don't just have funko pops they actually have a lot of really cool action figures and teenage mutant ninja toys right here they also have some other action figures here i see five nights at freddy's i feel like a lot of people are always asking about five nights at freddy's coming over here to this pop section we actually have mr snuffleupagus monica rambeau captain marvel hydro man tony stark in the quantum realm suit groot rocket some venomized pops and then moving on over we have the new york comic-con great great ape vegeta six inch some great Star Wars pops. See Han Solo, the Snow Trooper. We got some Deadpools. Deadpool with the Unicorn. Punisher War Machine. We got a Chase Goose. Coming over here, we have Supreme Leader Snoke. Old Man Logan. X-23, Weapon X, Black Panther, Dark Phoenix. Some more great ones. I see Thanos. And then coming up here, we have the Captain Hook movie moments. We have some ad icons pops. That's Pauly Pigeon with the official con sticker, as well as the pizza rat. And then moving on over here, we actually have Sleeping Beauty Castle with Mickey Mouse. See, we have Sam from Trick or Treat. We have one of the Giant Lady Pops. she on Swift Wind. We have the Matterhorn Bobsled, which was a Disney Parks exclusive. We have Maleficent on her throne. Rick Ship from Rick and Morty, as well as the 10-inch Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. So here we have some Simpsons Pops, bunch of great ones, as well as some Rick and Morty. Over here, we have some of the boys as well as Stranger Things. Then we have a few Office Pops. I see Krusty the Clown sneaking in there and a bunch of Dwight's. Coming over here, we have some Christmas Pops as well as Sugar Bear and Chuck Norris found his way into this section. We also have some Batman Pops. Oh, this is a really cool Bruce Wayne from the Justice League. That's the Ben Affleck version where he's holding the Batarang. We also have a 10 inch X-Force Deadpool, six inch Alice at the Mad Hatter Tea Party. We have Keith Haring, as well as some of the, uh, what is this? The Luchadors Pops, as well as some of the South Park ones. Coming over here, we have It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. A couple more ad icons. Monica from Friends. We have a flocked target dog right there. 
as well as a bunch of office and some more stranger things. Now come into this back shelf over here. We have a bunch more Dwight's and Mike from the office, excuse me, Michael. Uh, we also have the Chase Jim Halpert right there with the book face. I see we have Andy Bunard in the sumo suit as well as a glow chase atom bomb down there which is pretty cool we have some of the around the world pops we have the diamond morton salt girl which is awesome a chase twinkie the kid we have the funko shop exclusive quake i see a jolly bee a lot of great ad icons bunch of pillsbury doughboys milton the toaster which is one of my favorite ad icons that they've made oh they have the box lunch glow in the dark chester cheetah as well as the super creepy fanta clown coming over here we have a bunch of elvis pops some of the pop rocks i see some kiss members as well as some of the miss characters we have the Loch Ness Monster, the Funko Shop exclusive, as well as some Bigfoots, the Gnome, Cyclops, Minotaur, Sphinx, a lot of great ones right there. All right, then coming over here, back on this shelf, we have some more sports pops. We got Sidney Crosby again, a bunch of football ones, some more hockey ones. I see a Diamond Macho Man, Randy Savage. We have some more Pop Rocks. Joanna's going to show off Prince for us, as well as Phil Cullen from Def Leppard. Coming over here, we have Ewok with the speeder bike, as well as, oh, look at this really cute. It's like two little pocket pops almost from New York Comic Con. They look like vinyl keychains. We have some more Sam's, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. See some Mickey Mouse, some more Hades, some Incredibles. Oh, there's a Sailor Moon down there. I don't know if we need that one for our collection. Coming over here, see some Predator Pops. No, but I need him. Oh, you need Maui? Yeah. Oh, nice. I don't have Maui. Let me see Maui here. Might have to grab Maui for our collection today. We have some Doc Holliday. Not sure what this giant Flintstone figure is, but it looks looks pretty cool. We have She-Ra on Swift Wind, the Funko Pop ride. See Ellen DeGeneres. A lot of great stuff so as you guys can tell this store has a wide selection of stuff to choose from for your collection oh here we go talking about our collection we got some freddy funkos we got freddy holding the fish happy birthday freddy officer freddy hollywood freddy capricorn freddy virgo freddy the make a wish 5000 piece freddy oh man there's some great ones right there got the chase dwight schrute hey, um, john Ooh. Elton John and Medusa, look at that. As well as another Milton the Toaster. Coming over here, oh, don't we need Finley? I can't remember if we need a Finley. We have a bunch of Around the World Pops again, some more ad icons. We do, we need Finley. We do need Finley? All right, we might have to get Finley today. We got some more Office Pops over here. Yeah. All right, so coming around to this section. My bad. So coming around to this section, we got some more stuff. Oh, we have some of the boys action figures. See some Back to the Future stuff. A DeLorean action figure right here. Coming over here, we have some really cool vinyl two packs. Look at this 3000 piece pair of Freddy's. We have Dustin and Lucas, Dustin and Steve from Stranger Things. Look at this really awesome, super cute DeLorean ride that is awesome wonder woman and batgirl batman and wonder woman harley quinn and the joker dark side and martian manhunter we also have thanos and iron spider deadpool and cable panthro and shatira or no shitara excuse me lionel and mumra as well as eleven and barb down here we have the obi-wan kenobi versus vader death star duel that one's going to be going up in value we also have the Dagobah Yoda with Hut, some more Christmas pops. And then coming up here, we have some more vinyls from Harry Potter, which is pretty cool. Look at this super cute Dumbo and Timothy. Look how adorable that tiny little Timothy figure is. We also have some great Star Wars ones. We have Darth Vader and the Stormtrooper, Han Solo, Lando Calrissian, Kylo Ren, 
and Ray, as well as Jabba the Hutt. We also have Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Maul. And look how awesome these Christmas ones are. We have Yukon Cornelius and Bumble. They, match the sodas. they do match the sodas. And we also have Elf and the Narwhal. Hope you find your dad. Love that scene. That's just freaking awesome. We have not seen this many vinyls, two packs in one spot. There's Jon Snow. We have some mini Freddy Hikaris right here. A lot of great stuff. Pennywise and Georgie. Oh, these are really cool. We have the Ad Icons ones, Captain Crunch and Gene LaFoot, Tony the Tiger and Diggum Frog, Yummy Mummy and Fruit Brute. Those are really awesome. We have Hellboy, Woody and Buzz Lightyear. Coming over here, we have some more Motu ones. We have Prince Adam, Gizmo and Gremlin, Skeletor and Faker, which was a San Diego Comic-Con 2018 exclusive. Huckleberry Hound and Snagglepuss, which I've never seen. Quick Draw, McGraw, and Baby Looney. And look at this four pack, which is pretty cool. Oh, Joanna, check this out. They have Jack Skellington and Sally. That is adorable. Coming down here, we have Dr. Peter Vankman with the Ghostbusters Firehouse. We have Aladdin and Abu on the Magic Carpet Ride. I've never seen that one. We have some Spider-Man Hikaris. Some really cool stuff. We have the gold R2-D2, which actually is a Funko Pop, believe it or not. It was a Hot Topic exclusive, as well as a set of Wonder Woman dwarves. All right, so coming over here, we're still going, guys. It's pretty crazy. We have Boba Fett gets his bounty, the movie moment, as well as Rey with her speeder. We have the two pack of Princess Leia and R2-D2, some more Christmas pops. The Wonder Twins three pack, Captain America versus Thanos, and the Avengers Assemble Hawkeye. All right, guys, so we're gonna double back for a second because I actually missed a section over here. So we have the two pack of Thor and Groot from Avengers Infinity War, as well as another Kang and Krotos two pack, another Wonder Twins three pack. We have Cruella DeVille in her pop car over here. Let's see, we have the Joker Jim Lee Deluxe. We have Biggs, Wedge, and Porkins, the three pack of the Rebel Pilots. We have Batman over here, the Hush version. The Batman and Aquaman two pack from the Justice League movie. We have Darth Vader and his TIE Fighter. We have Billy and Tommy from WandaVision. The Greedo three pack with Hammerhead and Walrus Man. Very original names there. We have the Super Creepy Twins two pack. We have the Brady Bunch two-pack where I think someone is missing from that one. We have the Incredibles Elastigirl on Elastacycle. And then coming over here, we have the Sora, Goofy, and Donald Glow Chase three-pack. All right, so now turning our attention over here, we actually have a really cool Shadow Trooper Hakari. This is only limited to a thousand pieces and is really, really cool. We have this giant TIE fighter just sitting on the counter here, as well as this really cool Mandalorian half statue. Coming back here, we have a lot of the Christmas pops. I see we have the Buddy Elf Chase. We also have the Narwhal Max, and we even have the Elf on the Shelf pop, which is really cool. A bunch of Christmas sweater Freddies, Holiday Barbie. Coming over here, we have some Spider-Man pops. We actually have some Hot Toys too. If you guys caught that, we have the Captain Marvel, Mysterio and Wonder Woman. We have the 3000 piece Deadpool's Chimichanga truck. We have a whole slew of Spider-Mans, including the one that everyone's going after right now, the black suit, symbiote suit, Funko Shop exclusive glow in the dark one. We have a bunch of Thors, including the original Avengers one. We also have the Thor Ragnarok Marvel Collector Core exclusive, a bunch of Venomized stuff. Some really cool ones. I see we got the Venomized Red Goblin down there and a bunch of Deadpool pops. Coming back in this shelf, we have some autograph pops. I see some autograph Jason Voorhees, autograph Jerry Lawyer, as well as autographed Vladimir Guerrero Jr., which was a seven bucks a pop exclusive. And then we have an autographed Million Dollar Man two pack. Coming over here, we actually have 
the six inch Big Bird, as well as two of the six inch pops from the Avengers Infinity War line. We have some of the new Spider-Man No Way Home pops, which that's my first time seeing those. We have some of the Infinity Saga artist series, as well as some Jingle All The Way. We have more Office, some of the Black Lightning pops, some of the Princess Deluxe pops, some more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. I was just about to say, aren't you looking for some of those? I'm looking for all of them because Amazon canceled them. <laughs> we have some of the gingerbread ones, some more ad icons, some more Christmas, some more WWE. A lot of awesome ones. So we're going to grab this section over here for you guys too. We have some of the Day of the Dead, some more Office. Oh, we have some of the Military Appreciation ones, the Heroes. Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. No Coast Guard, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, we also have some of the more Rocks Pops and some more Hockey Pops. I think this is the most Hockey Pops I've seen in one location, so can definitely appreciate that. Uh, over here, we have some Football Pops as well as some Imperial Palace Pops. I think that Green Lantern is awesome in the John Stewart version. Some G.I. Joe, some of the Retro Toys. And we have some more baseball down here. Come in over here. Oh, we actually have some sodas. We've got Beetlejuice, Harley Quinn, some of the Luchadors, Pale Man, some really cool ones. We even have the ACDC Highway to Hell album. Uh, we have some of the Seinfeld mini moments. And then we also have some regular Seinfeld pops. And we have some more WWE pops down here. We have some of the Infinity Warps, some more Imperial Palace, the original ones with the red boxes, as well as the newer ones with the white boxes. We also have some basketball pops. We have a six inch Immortal Hulk and Harry Dune in Mutt Cut's van, as well as Jack Skellington in the Snowmobile. Coming over here, we actually have Skeletor with Snake Mountain, the Sanderson Sisters three pack. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that's super cool. SpongeBob like with that. Gary and Pineapple House, Pop Town. Oh, we have never seen so that one. Cute. We have the Oroville Pop Ride from the Rescuers, the Neon City Kong. I've never seen that one. Some big 10 inch pops. Oh, look, they have the Scooby Doo and Haunted Mansion, as well as another. Peter Bankman with the Firehouse. We have some Bakugan Pops. Not gonna say any of their names for obvious reasons. Um, let's see, we have some more Pop Rocks. As well as some TLC down there. Some more Pop Rocks, Fallout Boy. As well as some of the Pride Pops. So we got the Stormtrooper, Tina Belcher, and Deadpool. So coming over here, up top, we actually have some of the 10 inch ad icons. We have the Funko Shop exclusive Frankenberry, as well as the Coca-Cola Polar Bear. I see we have the Superman comic book cover. We also have the Sorcerer Mickey, which is really cool. Oh, look, we have the DeLorean, which is really cool. The second pop ride that they ever made. We also have a 10 inch Tony the Tiger set up there as well as a 10 inch Mickey Mouse. We even have a 10 inch Hulk from Thor Ragnarok. Oh, look at this one. This is the Pelly and Barker Parrot Disney Parks exclusive two pack. Coming over here, we have another Cloud City Duel, another TIE Fighter. Oh, we even have a 10 inch Indiana Jones, the Disney Parks one. A lot of great 10 inch pops over here. We even have Count Chocula. And then I noticed down here, we actually have the Hulk Buster versus the Hulk movie moment, which is a really cool one. Oh, over here we have the Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock in the ring. We have some more 10 inch pops with the roller skating Stuart. Oh, up here we have the 18 inch Groot, which is just massive. Oh, we even have the 10 inch Huckleberry Hound, which was a Funko Shop exclusive. And we have a chase. This is the red version of the Huckleberry Hound from the Funko Shop. We have Doc with the clock tower, another Skeletor 
on Panthor. And then coming over here, they actually have some really cute dwarves. So we have the alien, Thor, Tony Stark, I see Vision, Aquaman, Hulk, Batman, Iron Spider, a lot of cool ones. You don't see a lot of dwarves these days. They have a cute little Spider-Man one. They have Wonder Woman's invisible jet. Oh, that's super cool. The penguin down here, they have a couple three packs and four packs. And they even have, this is the 1500 piece. That's extremely rare. This is Peter Perfect with turbo terrific car so that's pretty cool and then back here we have the 5000 piece george jetson with spaceship dorbs ride which is really cool and then coming over here we'll show off this section really quick they actually have a lot of great sports cards and a couple jerseys for all you card collectors which is pretty awesome and they have all kinds of unopened packs back here. They have um, Pokemon, Magic over there, Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, we'll go to that section then. Yeah, this is all Magic the Gathering. So these are all Magic the Gathering cards. As you guys can see, they got rows and rows, tons of trays of them. And they even have some Pokemon cards over here as well for all the Pokemon collectors. And once again, they have some more unopened, sealed packs back here. And they have a couple more books, as well as some other stuff on display. So I don't know too much about card collecting these days. I used to collect sports cards back in the day, but I am definitely not the expert when it comes to any kind of anime card or pokemon or anything like that but let's get back to the pops coming back here they actually have a massive comic section as well right before we get to the pops uh, we actually found they have some t-shirt bundles here we have a thor t-shirt bundle as well as the looney tunes tweety bird they have the noid and they have the Jim Lee Superman. And then guys, check this out. This is all comics. This whole section, all comics. Back there, they have it set up so they can do any kind of signings or anything like that. I mean, just really cool. Look at this amazing Spider-Man. He's in the black suit. Very cool. They got a bunch of slabs. Oh, they even have a really old Lego set. This is the from The Hobbit. I wonder what this other Lego set is. Oh, that's pretty cool. Lego Master Builder Academy. I don't think I've ever seen that one. That's pretty cool. Got distracted by Lego for a minute, but coming back here, look at all these really cool comics. Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos. Nick Fury, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. The Flash, The Mighty Thor, some old school Star Wars stuff. Just ridiculous. Always cool seeing all the different colors and everything. So now we're gonna check out this massive wall and then we're gonna get to the grails. So checking out this wall, they do have a lot of commons that we've already seen already in today's video. So we're not gonna harp too much on stuff that we've already seen. So I'll try to point out the stuff that we haven't seen. So we have a six inch, the great grape ape, as well as the magic carpet ride movie moments. I see some more ad icons. We have some of the My Little Pony Pops. We have some of the Game of Thrones dragons up there. Some of the Marvel Gamerverse two packs, some more Game of Thrones pops. Oh, we even have the New York Comic Con Iron Throne. I never understood that pop. It was just a throne. There's no, there's no person in the throne, but I guess that's the beauty of it. Uh, we have some more gaming pops. We have some Disney pops. This is from the 65th anniversary line. Some Incredibles, some of the great mouse 
Detective, some more WWE stuff. If you're a WWE fan, you definitely gotta get down here ASAP. We have some Remix, some more WWE action figures. Here we go, we got some Star Wars pops. Now we're talking. Clash of the Supremacy up there, which was a movie moment. Some Rogue One. I see some Mandalorian. We have, let's see, some of the three packs. Princess Leia with her speeder. Oh, down here we actually have Luke Skywalker with his X-Wing, which is pretty much a grail now, which is pretty cool. We also have some DC Pops. I see Aquaman, Mara, look at that one where she's got the tiny Joker, which is pretty cool. Some Pops from the Wonder Woman movie. We have the 10 inch Heath Ledger Joker up there. Another SpongeBob movie moment that's snuck in there. We have some more Office Pops, some Teen Titans Go Pops, some more TV show. We have the Human Torch as well as Mr. Fantastic. Those two will be good pickups before the Fantastic Four shows up in the MCU. We have some 10 inch Deadpool as well as a 10 inch thing. We have the Green Lantern three pack. And in case these aren't big enough for you guys. I yeah, know. The 18 inch group. The 18 inch group. That's crazy. Uh, we also have some more Marvel Pops. We have some Ant-Man and the Wasp. We have the Punisher here, some pops from Doctor Strange, Bruce Banner, some of the Marvel 80 year pops. Oh, look at this, everybody's talking about Moon Knight. Look at that Moon Knight figure, that's pretty cool. All right, we have some Star Trek pops, some Men in Black pops, some Lord of the Rings. And I am going a little fast on this wall, guys, just because I really wanna show off the amazing stuff they have in their grail section. So we have some Dumb and Dumber, some Castaway, some Big. We have a 10 inch He Who Shall Not Be Named. We have another Doc Brown, the Clock Tower, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which we actually just gave away. Some more Ghostbusters pops. Oh, here we go. A pair of 10 inch red and black Boba Fetts. That's amazing. Oh, look at this one. I've never seen it. And then we have the Tony Stark and Morgan Stark two pack, as well as the six inch Power Ranger Megazord and Dragonzord. But here we go, guys. Now is the fun part. Let's check out all of this, their stuff in their grail section. All right, so we'll start with the case and then they actually gave us permission to go behind the counter. So here we have some of the higher end exclusives from the game of thrones line we have some doctor who pops and then all of a sudden it's gonna get into stack city here so we have the berlin chase we have vincent vega and jules from pop fiction we have a metallic chase og robin as well as george sanderson and lotso from the disney line we also have matt murdoch which everybody's talking about these days as well as the dark knight joker freaking awesome we have some thundercats pops we have the funko shop exclusive three hole punch gym as well as the stone keeper we have Daenerys, which I didn't realize that one was so expensive. From American Horror Story Hotel, we have the Countess. Guys, check this out. He has a Doc Emmett Brown glow in the dark, as well as Hermie and Rudolph, as well as Bumble and Santa Claus and Yukon Cornelius, all from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's a beautiful set. Hopefully somebody buys that all together. They also have Heat Miser and Snow Miser, as well as Casey Jones signed, PK Subban signed from the New Jersey Devils, Daniel LaRusso from Cobra Kai, Johnny Lawrence signed as well. Look at that, guys. Evgeny Malkin, one of my favorite players from the Pittsburgh Penguins signed. Connor McDavid signed. He's got a glow-in-the-dark 1,500-piece Loch Ness Monster, which is... Whew, that's at the top of my list. He also has Clubber Lang, as well as the 3,500 piece Speedy Gonzalez. But don't worry, it gets, it gets way better. He's got the blue box, large font, Princess Leia, NYCC Mandalorian, 480 piece 
Biggs Dark Lighter from San Diego Comic Con 2012. He's got the original blue box Greedo. Yep, that's one of the, the few that I'm searching for right now. He's got the original blue box Jawa, Lucky the Leprechaun Glow in the Dark, Flocked Trix Rabbit, 3000 Piece Tony the Tiger, Funko Shop exclusive Count Chocula, and he's also got some other big ones, guys. He's got another three hole punch gym. He's got 450 piece Freddy Funko right here, as well as the yellow and green Spartan Warriors from Halo. And in a pop shield armor, he's got the original foot soldier from the Teenage Mutant Ninja, Tur Ninja Turtle lines. He's got the autographed Vegas Golden Knights, Mark Andre Fleury. Patrick Lime from the Winnipeg Jets also autographed. Autographed John Tavares from the Toronto Maple Leafs, as well as an autographed Nathan McKinnon from the Colorado, Colorado Avalanche. He also has a metallic Dr. Doom right there, as well as Russell, original Disney Store logo from the Upline, as well as some Dr. Who Pops. And it keeps going. Next case, we have another NYCC Mandalorian. We have Killer Frost from NYCC 2018. We have the Chase Punisher, which I absolutely love, where he's holding Daredevil's mask. We have Original Sloth, Original Mikey, Data, Mouth, and Shunk, all from the Goonies. He's also got Brand from the Goonies. Another Princess Leia 2-pack. He's got some cool ones down here as well as, as uh, the Spider-Man Homecoming 2-pack. Some of the Star Wars 3-packs. He's got a die-cast Captain America signed crystal ship. This is the Harry Potter three pack, as well as the Stay Puffed Fugitive Toys exclusive Glow in the Dark Marshmallow Man, as well as the regular Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Coming over here in the next case, these are all Stanley. Absolutely gorgeous selection of Stanley Pops, including. Stan Lee from the original Iron Man with the con sticker. So we're gonna jump in to this back section because it just keeps getting better. All right, so we're gonna start with the first section like we've been doing and just go down. So I see we got the Glow Chase Iron Heart. We have a pair of Hellas. We have the Marvel Collector Core Squirrel Girl. We have some uh, Captain Marvel Pops. I see we have the Marvel Collector Core Rhino, some Hulks. Uh, we actually have the original Marvel Beast, which is pretty cool. We have the Glow in the Dark, Loki with the Tesseract from the Funko Shop. I see a couple Heimdalls, some Star Lords, and Black Panther Pops. Coming to the next section, we have Thanos on the Throne, which is my favorite Thanos pop. We have the US Agent. We have some WandaVision Pops, some Black Widow Pops, including the original Black Widow. Up there we have some more multi-packs, as well as another Indies ride. This one does have the official New York Comic Con sticker. Um, some more of the Game of Thrones. We have some Artist Series Batmans, some Wonder Woman, some more DC stuff. Batman Animated Series, it looks like he's got the entire set, which is pretty cool. Um, he's also got some of the 1966 Batman original TV series pops and some more dc stuff down there including one of my favorites he's got crypto the super dog such an underrated pop coming over here we have some more chases and we have a lot of horror pops some walking dead some stranger things i like how all of these are organized very well and look up here guys he's got not one but two director colson with lola funko pop rides Going into the next section, we have some more chases. We got some big Back to the Future stuff, including the con sticker where he's checking his watch, where he's on the hoverboard. That was a fun exclusive, as well as the New York Comic Con radiation suit, Marty McFly. Uh, we got some Star Wars stuff, including the Mud Trooper. I also see the original Boba Fett white armor prototype. He's got Count Dooku. He's got the Chase Bo-Katan, Chase Pork, some Han Solo. Up here we have the Thor Rag, or excuse me, Thor Infinity War with Stormbreaker Hot Toy, as well as another Time Machine, another Boba Fett gets his bounty, Fred Flintstone's Pop Town, Hulk smashing Loki, the A-Team Van, as well as Bandit. He's also got a big Mandalorian Black Series helmet up here, 
And then moving over here, I see George Washington crossing the Delaware, as well as another six inch big bird back there. He's got some Scott Pilgrim pops, some Anchorman pops. Looks like he's got the set of Willy Wonka pops, or at least most of them. Some Space Jam, another Chase, an Ecto-1, which is really cool. cool. That was a Toy Tokyo exclusive. Over here, we have some Big Bang Theory pops. We have some Motu pops. We have some more of the original Sesame Street pops. He's got the Tick. A couple more Chases, guys. Absolutely amazing. James Bond in his ride. And this will just about do it for this amazing store. Look at that. Some of the original Friends Pops, as well as the con sticker of Deadpool's Chimichanga truck and Luke Skywalker with the Wampa right there. We are just absolutely blown away. So if you guys ever get a chance, make sure to make your way out to Zombie Hideout in Springfield, Massachusetts. You will not be disappointed. So we'll see you guys back in the studio to see what we ended up grabbing for ourselves. All right, so as you guys saw, this was truly an incredible, just Funko and all around collectible store. So if you guys are ever in the Springfield, Massachusetts area, we are not kidding. You have to check them out. However, if you are not in the area, Zombie Hideout actually recently got approved to do whatnot auctions. So on top of being an in-person, just amazing store, you can actually buy some stuff directly from their whatnot, or we're also gonna link their website down below so you can go on over there and check out some pops. I have no doubt that a lot of people are gonna be hitting them up in the next few days to take home some of those truly incredible grails. We also have some good news, guys. We are actually teaming up with Zombie Hideout for a giveaway. So here we have a signed Jerry Lawler Funko Pop from WWE. This is completely authentic. Got the COA in the back there and everything. If you guys want to win this particular Funko Pop, all you have to do is be on our upcoming Whatnot auction this uh, this Monday night at 7 p.m. We are always live on Whatnot Monday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern. Come on into the chat. All you have to do is be following us on Whatnot and make sure you are following Zombie Hideout on Whatnot. And that's it. Then we're going to run this pop and somebody's going to be getting this amazing WWE autographed grail for their collection. I got to put this thing in a hard sack ASAP. So that is the giveaway. We are super excited to be teaming up with Zombie Hideout. We are going to try to do an in-person event, hopefully at some point in the near future, maybe in the spring, summertime when the weather lets up. And uh, we're just overall very excited to be able to have the opportunity to go find this store and then uh, actually visit the place in person was truly incredible. So naturally, we couldn't leave the store without picking up a few pops for our personal collection. So we actually got three for our collection. One of which I'm actually going to sit on as a potential investment for all you Marvel Funko fanatics. If you guys saw my Monday video where we talked about Marvel Funko Pops that I think you guys should buy now before they become grails later, I actually grabbed another Squirrel Girl Pop because she is relatively inexpensive at this time. It is the only Squirrel Girl Pop that they have ever made. And if you want to hear my full reasoning on why this pop I think it's going to go up. Go check out my Monday video. So that is the first pop that we picked up. Oh, and I also want to mention, guys, all the prices in the store at Zombie Hideout were extremely fair. Um, the owner, Bill, he was just an amazing guy. We had so much fun just talking to him, conversing about collectibles, the Funko Pop market. He is very knowledgeable, and that's why I can't endorse him enough. The next pop that we actually picked up was actually for Joanna's collection, and she is only one pop away from completing the Around the World line. So here we have Finley, the Funko Shop exclusive with the pin. She's only one away, guys. She only needs Toshi, and then she will actually be set complete for the Around the World line. However, I have a feeling they are gonna be making a lot more countries, so at least for the first 12, we are almost there. And the last Funko Pop that I picked up is actually another Marvel Pop, and I was blown away because we looked up some recent sales, and it's actually trending up in value, so I decided, you know what? I'm not gonna waste any more time. I need to get this right now for my collection because it's one of these Spider-Man Pops that I've been wanting for myself for a long time. And this is actually the Gamerverse upgraded suit Spider-Man in the action pose. 
Absolutely amazing pop. I sat on this one for a while. I said, you know what? I, it's only like 15, 20 bucks. I can wait, but I guess it's gained some popularity because of Spider-Man No Way Home. So I said, you know what? I don't want to take any more chances. I'm not going to risk this any further. I'm going to grab this today for my collection, and I am very happy that I did. So those are the three pops that we actually picked up from Zombie Hideout. Guys, don't miss out on your opportunity to win this signed grail this upcoming Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. And please feel free to hit up Zombie Hideout for any of the amazing Funko Pops that they had in their store. They had a lot of stuff that we highlighted in the video that you do not see every day. You can't just walk into a Target or a Walmart and grab a nine inch Daryl Dixon from 2013 right off the shelf. Guys, you just don't see that kind of stuff. And a lot of his pops were in excellent condition. So we had a blast. We can't wait to team up with them once again in the future. And uh, overall, it was just another very successful hunt video. So let me know down in the comment section below, guys, which pop was your favorite? And if you could buy only one from Zombie Hideout, which one would it be? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments section below. And if you guys are enjoying our Funko Pop Hunt videos, make sure to smash that subscribe button because we have a lot more great hunt videos on the way. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always... Don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you guys very soon.